giant fire-breathing beast? <laughs> We'd better check it out. These productions gave Disney a permanent home on our small screens. Let's get dangerous! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Disney animated TV series. Discovering something that doesn't exist, hey. or giving a monkey a shower. Number 10, Phineas and Ferb. So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. It's not the longest-running Disney Channel original series for nothing. With bright colors, humorous bits, running gags, musical numbers, playful but artistic animation, and cleverly placed pop culture references, Phineas and Ferb is fun for the whole family. Well, that was an interesting sound you were getting out of your guitar. I think it'll be just fine. That was not my guitar. That was me. I call it the fail whale. Its main plot revolves around the title character's mischievous antics and their disapproving older sister. With a subplot that includes a platypus as a crime-fighting secret agent, you can't help but be entertained. Oh good, you're gonna, you're gonna go get feeling super? Maybe tell him that I'm up here and... Hey, what's that? That better not be a do not disturb sign. Curse you, Patty the Platypus! <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Number nine, The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Oh, bother. This high-quality animated series worked its way into the hearts and homes of countless children in the U.S. and beyond. By telling stories that dealt with friendship, fear, self-esteem, and more, Disney brought the characters of A.A. A. Milne's beloved books to life and won two Emmys in the process. The Pooh, what are you doing? The heffalumps and woozles are coming. Oh, good. I thought they were going to be late for brunch fest. Whether we're singing along with Pooh or learning life's greatest lessons, it's always good memories with the gang. Uh, you're getting colder. You're getting warmer. Looks like fun. <laughs> Wish I could have some. Number eight, Disney's Adventures of the Gummy Bears. They are the gummy bears. Launched simultaneously, alongside the short-lived The Wuzzles, this was the first animated production from Walt Disney Animation Television. I've never seen a human close-up before. Summy, do they really eat gummy bears? Oh no, oh no, of course not, Cubby. That's just a story. Airing between 1985 and 1990, the six-season show followed the adventures of human-like bears with magical powers that lived among human beings. Humans are nothing but trouble. I say leave him be. That has been the gummy way for hundreds of years. As the animation studio's first serialized program, the Gummy Bears paved the way for the explosion of animated television during the same period, including several other Disney shows. What is that? What's going on? Who are those attackers? They looking like gummy bears, you dookie nuts. Maybe a night. Number seven, Aladdin. It wasn't Disney's first animated TV series to be based on a feature-length film, and it probably won't be the last, but Aladdin is often considered one of Disney's finest in the genre, as proven by its multiple Daytime Emmy Awards. No one will ever come between us. Heads up! Sorry. Featuring almost all the voices we know and love from the films, the show ensured us a longer ride on that magic carpet with Aladdin, Jasmine, Abu, Genie, and more. Number six, House of Mouse. At the House of Mouse. It's at the House of Mouse Dinner Theater that Mickey and Co. entertained residents by showing cartoons. As many of these animated shorts previously appeared on the popular Mickey Mouse Works show, the series allowed viewers to experience Disney's golden age with many familiar faces in tow. Those guys always get all the attention. In fact, it didn't only bring Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Goofy under one roof, but also featured many other characters from Disney films. Today, we're saluting two little guys who always make a big impression, Chip and Dale. When you need help, just call Ch -ch 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 Chip and Dale. Number five, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Ch -ch 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 for this adventure and comedy-filled series, Disney's two chipmunk characters got a bit of a makeover with new clothes, distinctive personalities, and high-pitched voices. I hope we get back in time for dinner. Who could think of eating in a place like this? 
As the rescue rangers, Chip and Dale were two detectives who solved crimes with the help of other animal buddies. I bet we could nab those crooks ourselves. Chip, you said you'd be careful. No silly prediction about an elephant trunk is gonna keep me from being a rescue ranger. Though the pair often butted heads, that was one of the main reasons why their chemistry and the show worked. Ridiculous, you watch too much TV. Now get out there and get us some more walnuts. Number four, Gargoyles. Dark, melodramatic, and complicated aren't words you'd normally associate with Disney, but that's exactly how Gargoyles has been described. Do you really think we can trust Xanatos? I believe we can trust him not to destroy us while we sleep. Focusing on stone gargoyles that only came alive at night, the show saw the creatures trying to cope with a modern and unfamiliar world. These weapons! We must be battling sorcerers! Even so, we will protect this castle. It's all we have left. Though it was cancelled after three seasons, the series quickly achieved cult status thanks to its effective fusion of action, adventure, fantasy, mystery, and history. I won't be defeated by the likes of you! Brave words for a man who hides his face behind a hood. Number three, Recess. For TJ, Ashley, Vince, Gretchen, Mikey, and Gus, elementary school was reminiscent of a prison where they dealt with many rules and a strict system of controls. Where else am I supposed to go? Across the hall and down the stairs to room 51. <gasps> the only time they could be themselves was, you guessed it, recess. Last one on Old Rusty has to give Miss Vincer a sponge bath. Hey, that's my job! Since critics loved it as much as the kids did, this cult classic became one of the longest-running shows on Disney's one Saturday morning lineup and spawned several films. What do you suppose we should do with a boy this bad? Say, I have an idea. No recess. Why doesn't she just tear out his soul? Know that you always can call Kim Number two, possible. Kim Possible. So what's the sitch? Me, me because going through the trials and tribulations of being a teenager isn't challenging enough, Kim Possible has to find the time and energy to fight crime with the help of sidekick Ron Stoppable. Yeah, well if Dragon wants his chance at revenge, he's going to get it. And a one-way ticket back to Cell Block D. Its successful 2002 premiere helped this series become one of the Disney Channel's most popular shows to that point. Packed with action and humorous fare, the Emmy-winning series also earned rave reviews for its writing and animation. You know, some of us are trying to have a social life. Soon the only life you will be having is the life of bowing down to me, Professor Dementor, conqueror of everybody! Yeah, that's going to happen, like, never. Keep going, we're almost there! Number one, DuckTales. Over the course of four seasons, this show mixed adventure, comedy, drama, mystery, and fantasy with the tales of Uncle Scrooge and his grandnephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. As I recall, the only thieves interested in that old relic were you three. But we found a map! Enough! Thanks to its pop culture references, DuckTales was extremely successful and led to a feature-length film and two spin-off series. Stop with it also confirmed that high-quality animation was worth investing in. Disney reaped the financial rewards through syndication. Get out of here, boys. I'll handle this. No, sir, Uncle Scrooge. We're all in this together. Do you agree with our list? Whoa, whoa, hey, hold on, time out. You have a battle suit? When did you get this suit with the power? Which is your favorite Disney animated TV series? Bruised, battered, but never defeated. Darkwing Duck. Springs back to action. Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more entertaining top tens. Set coordinates, Launchpad. For where, Mr. McD? For the Valley of the Golden Suns.